Hi everyone. I wanted to talk today's Tuesday tip about something that is coming up more and more as we enter a market with, first of all, super low interest rates, as you've heard me talk about before, but also 100% financing. So this is becoming more and more popular. There are several lending institutions that do 100% financing. And I wanted to bring it to your attention that if this is the route that you're going to take, which it can definitely be a great option for some people, there are still going to be some out-of-pocket expenses involved with buying a home. To break those down a little bit for you, first of all, you've got to put earnest money down. Earnest money is a way to show that the sellers, that you're serious about purchasing the property. In a multiple offer situation, I always recommend more earnest money to show them that you are very serious. But in most standard offer cases, the typical range is between $500 and $1,000, depending on the price point of the home. Um, this is still refundable if, for any reason, your financing were to fall through. And also, if upon home inspection, things can't be worked out between you and the seller and the purchase agreement is terminated, you also receive that earnest money back but you've got earnest money down. And then speaking of home inspections, you've also got to pay for a home inspection. I highly recommend getting in addition to the home inspection, which runs between $350 and $550. You also include to have your sewer line inspected. This isn't always necessary for every home, but especially if you're purchasing in the older Des Moines neighborhoods or older parts of town, definitely get that sewer line inspected. That could be a huge expense down the road that you don't want to have to deal with. And I also recommend radon testing. Now radon is a whole nother topic that I could talk about for hours, but we're just gonna keep it simple. Pay for the extra radon testing. So you've got your earnest money, you've got your inspections that are done. Then you're also going to have closing costs. Now, if you're asking the seller to contribute towards closing costs, that's not just closing costs that are hard closing costs from the lender, but you also have taxes and prepaids and possibly origination fees, depending on the lending institution. So in Iowa, taxes are paid a year in arrears. So you're going to receive a credit from the seller for taxes up until the day you close, but you also have to put a portion of those taxes into your escrow so that your mortgage company has enough set aside to pay taxes when they're due. You also have to prepay for your homeowner's insurance. You typically have to pay for a full year's premium in advance. So all in all, when it comes to your earnest money, your home inspections, your closing costs, your prepaids, even if you're doing 100% financing, you still need to have around $5,000 at minimum to feel confident that you've got everything paid for. So make sure that you know all of those expenses ahead of time. Of course, I'm here to help in any way, but to truly get an accurate understanding of exactly what costs you'll have involved for the loan side of things, be sure to talk in further detail with your lender. As always, if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me and my team. We're here to help in any way.